and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be from Grooming Department. And this is Unum. U-N-U-M. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Unum. Unum. Something like that. Unum. I have no idea. But uh, this is a really, really nice scent. Once I, I saw it on their website when I was browsing uh, soaps to buy. What I've decided to do, kind of with my collection, is uh, I have a lot of unscented soaps. Then I have a... Uh, a, a few scented soaps. The scented soaps that I use will be on days that I want to shave, not wear any fragrances, and uh, today is one of those days, so we're using this guy today. The scent on this, as I said, is very interesting. The way I would describe it is it's ultimately very resinous in the sense that th there's a few types of resins for me. There's smoky resins and there's really sweet resins. The sweet resins are benzoin, labdanum, both very sweet. The smoky resins all, almost come off quite incense -y. and uh, there's both of these in there, uh, coupled with vanilla and honey, stuff like that. It's, it's a beautiful fragrance. Um, the scent strength from this is not, it's a probably about a six, maybe six and a half. It's quite high and definitely noticeable. And the base this is in, I don't know if you can read this. It's in the Lusso base, which has a Jersey cow milk in it, which I'm very much looking forward to using. I've used this soap once. And I was actually blown away by the performance. So we're gonna be using that. Our brush is something I don't use very often and something that I should use a bit more than I do. This is my Smog Owners Club Tard Resin. This is a bore brush. I don't use bore brushes very often in general. And I'll talk a bit about my brush uses in a minute. And uh. Kind of go into detail as to why that is and my razor of choice is the titanium christopher bradley prototype um and inside that is a second use repairer platinum lux one of my go-to blades from the last few months or so let's get a load on here so let's talk a bit about the brushes actually so i i've tried a whole host of brushes uh good synthetic knots what people define as the best badger knots high-end bore knots. And what I have found more often than not, excuse the pun, I guess, um, brush is a very, very much independent thing uh, in the sense that what I might really like in a brush, you do not. There are a lot of people that really like scrub. I'm not the biggest fan of scrub, personally. I prefer when brushes are just incredibly pillowy soft. Don't have much scrub. Don't, don't, I, I, I faced other for a long time, as you guys probably know by now, and a uh, brush burn could realistically be a thing. And it's less likely to happen if the brush has no scrub. My issue I've found with bore knots is I just find they, they eat lather. Um, pretty consistently too, with pretty much all the ones I've tried, I've just found that they eat lather. I'm not sure why that is, quite frankly. I'm generally the sort of one to look look into things and really think about it, but it's not the densest knot, as you can see. So I'm not particularly sure why it's eating lather. I do have a theory that knots with really poor backbone don't pick up as much soap when tub loading. And what that basically happens then is you end up picking up less soap, and if they have the tendency to eat soap, then all that's gonna happen is You've got a brush that both eats soap and doesn't pick much up from the top, which creates two issues in one, if you get what I'm saying. I think that's definitely a factor. Okay, I think we've got a good enough load here, hopefully. Hopefully I don't need to go back. If we do, we do, and it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's get the face wet and we'll uh, get slowing up. So yeah, let's talk a bit more about brushes. So I've used all types of brushes, high-end badger brushes, synthetic brushes, you name it. And it's funny how different the, the brush marker actually is because I've said, I've said before that the Varlet is the best brush I've ever used. It's the best in the sense that the face feel is the same, or that I love the way the, the face feel is. What is good brush performance? Has that been defined? Because I think we all have different different things, right? And especially when it comes to different different things when it comes to the desired face feel you have. Some people love the scrub. 
I, I think I'd like scrub a lot more if I didn't shave that frequently, like twice a week or something. But the frequency I shave, the scrub is just a bit uncomfortable for me. Um, let's lather up here. Really good stuff. I loaded a hell of a long time, so we shouldn't have a problem with it eating all the lather. And all of this is a bore brush. Because of the lack of backbone for me, it just doesn't have much scrub. Let me actually fill the sink so the sound of the tap is not doing your head in. So yeah. I have found that when it comes to brushes, a lot of people have lots of different preferences, which is pretty normal. However, there's no standard to where brushes will perform or not. And what I generally recommend to people is if you're not sure and you're just starting out, I am still very much of the opinion if you all you're focused on is lathability and ease of use, scents are by far the best brushes you can buy. I'm still of the opinion that regardless of the brush, like the the, hand, the knots I use, I could use the most expensive better knots, and I can you I can make a better lather with a synthetic. Um, pretty much every single time, and I. I don't see any an anomaly to that whatsoever. I just find synthetics to be more consistent. And just generally easier to use. Yeah, this is, see, the, the load time here really helped it not eat any of the lather because I have tons of lather on this brush now. It does mean we're going to need to hydrate it for a little bit. But fortunately, these newer kind of grooming department bases, to be honest, he's always kind of had it. These grooming department bases are super easy to lather. So that leads me to ask, what is your preference when it comes to brushes? Do you like the scrub? Are you a bowl lather and prefer little scrub? Or are you a bowl lather and prefer lots of scrub? Do you face lather predominantly and you like like lots of scrub? Or are you more like me and the less scrub the better? I, I'd like to know, mainly because... It's funny because I got rid of loads of, loads of hardware. Um, I have very little now, quite frankly. And I actually regret it. Not, I actually don't regret the... I don't regret the stuff I got rid of. What I actually do regret is leaving myself with such little variety. So what I'm going to do, is I'm probably going to add two or three more brushes and a couple more razors. The razors I'm looking at are um, from actually, I'm looking at a razor from Timeless. I think I might go with a Timeless tie or stainless. And then the other, I'm not too sure of. Look at that lather, man. Absolutely stunning. So, uh, what razors are you guys enjoying? What are you using? Give me some ideas. And I will bring them to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of trying a few new razors. Man, this lather. Look at that. It's just how I like it. It's hydrated, but not too hydrated to where it's super thin. But it's very well hydrated. And the way I like to, the way I like to word it, with a, a soap that's hydrated kind of like optimally for me, is when the peaks are falling over on themselves. And the, the stiff peaks can kind of like sustain because they're they're so hydrated. Let's get to shaving then. So carved Christopher Bradley in titanium. This is still the prototype. This is with the B plate. I do prefer the C plate um, in this system, but 
I'm yet to be able to get one of those. I couldn't, I couldn't even get one when I was working for them, to be fair. So, Chris has proven very hard to get hold of. Not just for me, I can assure you. I've had plenty of people ask me, are calves still in business? They're still in business. What I did hope, quite honestly, when we parted ways is that they still figured out a way to keep communications open. Because for me, although people moaned at the, the lack of response when I was working there, I find that bollocks. Like I don't think that's true at all because I would answer absolutely every email in our inbox every morning. Without fail, like all the time. So there was, you'd always get a response. And as far as I'm aware, now that isn't happening, which is, you know, it's unfortunate. Because if you want, well, I mean, from a company perspective, they're missing out on set potential sales because they're not dealing with leads properly. And just from a customer perspective, it's just shit service. So I hope that gets figured out. I do think they've got their fulfillment time better. If you've ordered from there recently, let me know kind of what their fulfillment is looking like now. On their website, it states like, I think it was one to three days or something, which is very good. Much better than what it was, I can assure you of that. There's no ill feelings towards Carve and myself. I just want them to succeed. I think they make a wonderful product and I hope that they find a way to make, make that much easier for customers to access. And just make it easier for customers to communicate them, communicate to them. It's not difficult for them to actually message, but it's difficult for them to get a response. And that's a problem in itself, you know? Okay, let's, uh, I, I've, I've recently introduced a new pass actually. I call it my hybrid pass, where it's both against the grain and across the grain. Um, I found it's the best way for me to avoid irritation and get quite close. So I'll show you that. So generally where we go kind of up and diagonally, I change the angle slightly more to go towards my neck. And that's more of like a hybrid pass, so I'll show you. So I would have done this in the past, like that. Now I do this. And work my way in. And go up here because my hair, the hair on my neck kind of grows in and in that way. So I'm gonna do the same here. So instead of going up like I normally would, I now do this. And this is just straight up. I've actually found that my face isn't the thing that's sensitive unless it's my mustache area, which is very sensitive. I can kind of get away with going with and then against on my face. To be, I'll be honest with you, I've not really had a razor that going against the, straight against the grain of my neck. As far as any sequ like sequential pass goes, isn't uncomfortable, so I just don't do it. That, however, works really well for me. It gets me close, and it means I don't need to touch it again. And I only go across my mustache. Now what I'll do is I will feel around a bit with some water in my hands, and we'll see where we missed on the face and the neck. So the neck, I got pretty close with that. And I will reiterate that to you. If you're going against the grain and you're getting uncomfortable shaves, give that a go. Figure out kind of what would be across the grain for your, for your facial hair growth. And do like a hybrid pass. So I'm just gonna go straight hybrid pass again on this part to get the stragglers. So actually I'm gonna go cross grain here, which is up to get the stragglers so I don't repeat that more rigorous pass again. So as you can see, 
or hair rather, there's very little hair. A little bit more on this side. Light touch, although this is a very marred razor. Still can never be too careful. Fantastic. That's a great shave. I've always, I've always, I guess my ethos has always been, I'd rather have less close, comfortable shaves or irritation free shaves then really close shaves with bits of irritation dotted around i just i just, it's just it just takes the joy out of shaving for me getting irritation although like i might like the feeling of my face for a few hours after it's just it's just never been worth it for me quite frankly okay let me uh clean up the gear rinse off the face and i will see you guys for the post shave i'll be back soon hey guys post shave time so the immediate post shave on this, and to be honest, the, the long lasting post shave on this is stupendously good. Um, to the point where when I used it the first time, I just felt my face and didn't feel I needed a post shave. But we're gonna use one anyway, I don't really see the problem. I'm gonna use my go-to Singari Balm. I've recently found a balm that I would say is as good as this. And uh, I'll show you that next week. Let me get this on my face. Really nice. Awesome, what a shave that was. Ball brush performed really well, didn't eat lather. Uh, felt good when lathering as well, created kind of like good base lather as I, was, as I would uh, say it, I guess. Uh, okay, so let me do a recap of the gear and I will let you guys go. My soap of choice today was from grooming department and this is Unum, 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 something like that. As you can see here, Really nice resinous scent uh, in that Lusso tallow base, which I actually think is as good as Kairos, personally. Um, performs just as well. Creates a lather I actually prefer. I find the lather to be a bit denser than Kairos. I, I know he's reformulated Kairos, and uh, I'm looking forward to using that at some point. But I, I have absolutely no complaints with Lusso. I, I do think it's good. I notice my uh, camera's flicking a little bit, and I think it's because of the white balance with the window behind me. I'm gonna try and figure that out, um, but for now, I'm sorry. Uh, my razor of choice was the Titanium Prototype by Calf Shaving Co, the Christopher Bradley razor, and my brush was the Smoke Onus Club Taj Resin Bore. Really good brush, performed really well, did me proud today. And my post was the Zingari Man at the Shave Barn, unscented, which is almost completely gone. But yeah, what razors would you guys recommend me? Frankly, what, what brush vendors would you recommend me? What are you enjoying at the moment? Um, I'm looking to get a bit more hardware, not loads, because I don't want to spend loads of money, which is why I got rid of loads of stuff anyway. Probably another couple razors, another couple brushes, just to give me a bit more variety, because that's, that's what I miss. I don't miss the specific things I got rid of. I got I got I miss the variety that I got rid of. That's that's pretty much what I miss predominantly. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Grooming. Wherever you are on the wrong, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.